Let's take a look today at creating motion titles and then showing you two different ways to have them exit out. Welcome to another video by The Peppy Techie. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is create a main title and we'll edit it. And we're going to say creating. It's done. Nothing too fancy today. We're just going to move it about right here. And then we're going to go over to the back button, go to the plus and overlay title. And we'll hit edit and our text. Creating motion. And we're going to move this up as best we can to make it look like it's on the exact same line. And now I'm going to go to plus and do another overlay title. I want to move it down to right here. And I'm actually going to move it down a little bit lower. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your frame and fit and hit the current position. So this is zero, zero, and we're going to roll forward to about 20. And from here, and I like to use these positions, as you know, to go up and down, I'm going to roll right to here. And then I'm going to move it over this way. So it's going to move at an angle down. Now we'll go back and the next title, go to frame and fit, position it to start exactly where it is. Go to 20 seconds. And now I'm going to pull, use these to motion this all the way down to the exact same space and then I'm going to pull the positioning over here over. So now as I watch and roll it back they're coming in exactly the same time. So now titles is here it didn't have to move anywhere but now what we want to do in this four second interval is move that title out. So this is actually where it becomes a lot more difficult than it should be. You cannot clone these. If you do, the motion stays and they don't move, they don't move correctly. So here's my remedy. So here's creation mode, motion titles. I'm going to make sure I'm fairly close to the end. They're all lined up. I'm going to come up here to the arrow and take a snapshot. That snapshot right here. I'm going to come to edit. And what I have to do is crop these. So I'm going to crop from the top and crop it tightly from the bottom. And I'm just going after the word creating right now from the right and from the left. And now I'm really going to bring that same title down again. Edit it, crop it, and now we're going to do the word motion. And now we're going to do the same thing for titles. We've played it for two seconds. It's rolled in, boom, and now it's played. So about this point, we want it to actually start to fade out. So we're going to start doing them a little bit at a time. We'll start with creating. We're going to come to side frame and fit. I'm going to use blending. So with blending at this point, I'm going to do 100%. The blending is at 100%. It's full size. Create a blending keyframe. That way from right now, it's full 100%. I'm just going to go, it's important to kind of have an idea. So I'm going to go from 0, 1, to 11 and I'm going to bring it down a tenth every one. So that's 81. I have 21 here and we'll bring it down. Might want to bring it down to about 61 at this point. 60, 61. Trying to do something, something close. Till it's gone away. So now as soon as it starts to fade out, about right here, this is when motion should start fading out. So we're going to click on the next word, go to edit. We're going to 
go to frame and fit, but scroll up to blending. All right, we're going to go back to this point right here. We're going to click blending. And now we're going to at 22, we'll start rolling forward to each two and we'll start taking it down. The first one we did about 10. I'm going to make this a little faster and go to 81. Okay, so now I'll go back. So now we have, just play this a little bit, creating motion. Okay, so this is going to have to start. So as soon as motion starts, a okay, motion starting about right there, we're going to start titles. Go to edit. Again, make sure you're in frame and fit. Scroll up to blending. Make sure at the start you hit that blending mark. So I'll bring it down again, 20. Or maybe even, yeah, 20 is fine. Roll it forward. Now you're going to have a lot less time here, so you might have to go a little bit faster. Now we'll just go to the end and make it go out. So now your animation is like this, creating motion and then motion of a fade out one word at a time. So that's how you do that. Now the next one is the same thing. We already created the motion in, and we're going to change this motion out. Instead of doing a fade on each one of those, what I did was I took that snapshot right here, and we're going to do that same frame and fit. We'll make a position note, and then we are slowly going to rotate it. I'm going to come forward a little bit. Now I'm going to start the rotation until I get to about right here. Go right to the very end. Three seconds. I want this to be gone. So it's going to motion in a rotate and then go off. I just hit the play. There's the motion and there it goes. Just like that. Two ways to exit. You got an entrance and it can fade out or you could do something like this. All right. There you go. That's the video for today. How to create titles that have an entrance and an exit in LumaFusion. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video and leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.